Okay, so this is the second um, screencast about hydrocarbons and it's about the unsaturated ones called the alkenes and hopefully by the end of this short film you'll be able to name and draw the formula of the first 10 alkenes which shouldn't be too hard if you know how to do it for the alkanes and you should be able to draw that structure in a few different ways hopefully you'll know a little bit about how isomers can come about with these molecules but as before that's um, going to be covered in more detail in another film about isomers so here we go for the first 10 alkenes and we're going to keep it simple like we did with the alkanes we're going to stick to straight chains well the first uh, first of all the giveaway I suppose if you've got an alkene and not something else is the fact that its name is going to end in ene just like alkanes ended in ane alkenes end in ene and the number of carbons that's going to be denoted by the prefix so they're going to use exactly the same prefixes as before so there's nothing really new to learn here and as far as the naming goes let's look at the alkene with only one carbon atom now hopefully you won't be surprised to hear that if you're going to have a double bond in between two carbon atoms which you have to have in order to have an alkene then well you can't just have one carbon atom so uh, methane doesn't exist but ethene does remember eth being the prefix for two carbons and ene the suffix or the ending for any molecule that has a double bond in it rather like this one so here we've got this ethene molecule drawn in two different ways one's an electron dot diagram shows all the shared pairs of electrons and there's two shared pairs there where there's a double bond and only one shared pair where there's single bonds remember hydrogen can only form one bond and there we've got the ball and stick model where just the atoms and bonds are shown anyway so let's just write the formula of ethene in a couple of different ways we'll write it first of all by talking about each carbon atom in turn and that would give us the formula CH2 CH2 and then we'll group everything together C2 and it's got to be H2N this time because we're talking about alkenes and their general formula is CnH2n so C2H4 and indeed there's four hydrogen atoms in that molecule okay moving on three carbons now so here we are one two three and a double bond to make it ene let's just um, undo that there um, right so double bond here let's just draw the formula out in a couple of different ways CH2 this is the first carbon next carbon can only hold one hydrogen because it's made two bonds here and one there so that's going to be CH and then finally CH3 all grouping everything together it's a very strange looking three isn't it um, grouping everything together just write that one out again CH2 CH CH3 and grouping everything together we've got C3 H6 so there it is again C N H 2 N or I suppose if we had the time we could draw out every single bond and we end up with something that looks like this now bear in mind here I'm starting from this end this time just want to show you that it doesn't really matter which way around you draw it what matters is that you get the right number of atoms and the right kinds of bonds okay four carbon atoms four carbon atoms means you've got a prefix of bute one two three four and a double bond so a suffix of ene one two three four five six seven eight hydrogens so we could write the formula as c4 h8 or we could deal with each carbon in turn ch2 ch starting from this end this time ch ch2 and finally ch3 that's that carbon there you can have isomers with this molecule so like with butane you could take this four carbon chain and maybe make a three carbon chain out of it 
just maybe taking one of the carbons and moving it to a different position or you could actually take that double bond and put it in a different place to create isomers but more of that in the isomers film so here's pentene slightly confusing structural formula here it's actually called a skeletal formula it tells us just a bare minimum of detail but remember there's a carbon at each point so five carbons pent like a pentagon and remember here we assume that any bonds that the carbon hasn't been shown to make so it's got another two there because it's got two here will be hydrogens this one can only make one more bond because it's made one two three this one can make two and this one can make two and this one can make three so how many H's have we got? Well we've got four there and three and another three so that makes ten so C5 H10 we shouldn't be surprised to see that because it's CN H2N and if we write it from one end to the other CH2 CH CH2 CH2 and CH3 so there's pent in prefix for five is pent okay moving on hexene hexene here's an alkene with six carbon atoms how's it an alkene well it's got a double bond so formula for that molecule CH2 CH CH2 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 and CH3 one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms, C6, H12. Okay, now this molecule here that you can see is also C6, H12. So you might look at its formula and go, oh, that's an N, C, N, H, 2 N type formula, but this is not an alkene because it doesn't have a double bond anywhere. It's only got single bonds actual fact this one's called cyclo because it's a cycle hexane but it's called ane because it's saturated it's only got single bonds now just very quickly the names of the last four just like with the alkanes there's hept for seven so let's just write their, their uh, molecular formulas down and we get c7 H14, C8, H16, C9, H18, and C10, H20. And as you can see, each time we're going up, we're going by CH2. And that's true of members in the homologous series. So that's almost it for alkenes. Just last slide will just give you a little bit more detail about isomers in case you're wondering about it so we've got four different molecules here they've all got the same molecular formula they're all C4H8 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 and C4 H8. They're all the same molecular formula, but if you actually wrote the structural formula down, either by showing all the bonds like they have done here, or by writing each carbon atom in turn, we'd see that some of them actually had different structural formulae from each other. So they're going to be same molecular formula, different structural formula, so they're going to be isomers, but that's all I'm going to say about them for now. And you can see a bit more about them in the film about isomers.